Hello, and welcome to this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, The Coach. They've played two of the more memorable Super Bowls in recent history. The Giants and Patriots are underway again. Here's Tate to return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. The first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Second down at the 17-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Throwing Jones. Blitz coming and down he goes. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. from the gun. Jones. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Taking it about the 36. Position changer there, 49 yards on the punt. Couple that with a loss on the return. And the Patriots take over. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. They'll be led out by the final pick of the first round in 2018 out of Louisville. It's Lamar Jackson. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And he spent a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others. But the key to everything for him is the ability to be accurate from the pocket. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's good for a Patriot. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. We're scoreless after one. With no score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, the, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. First and ten at the 50-yard line. Now Sanders. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. A big play there. 46 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, you see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. And here's Shane Graham now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get it to someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And the Giants first down. From the gun, Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was looking for C.J. Board there. And it's second down. Rodney Harrison there defensively. Throwing again. Jones. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Trey Flowers just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And it's third down. First half in the... Well, who needs a halftime? Am I right? Let's resume play. Nothing. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. The Patriots take over first and 10. Their own New game. England with a first down as they begin the drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defense is right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take? to get back on track. Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They'll go again with Sanders. Fast footwork by Sanders. 15 yards on the play, first down. Sanders, that's good for a Patriots. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And despite a nice juke there, really good move, he only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 22-yard line. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. That's good for a Patriots. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports.
Ready. On first down, Sanders. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Seven yards there and a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. That's a third down that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there on first down it's sanders he'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six i guess the simple question why not just take a knee there i don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance we've seen it happen in the game of football it doesn't matter whether you watch high school college or the nfl some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. No gain on the play. It's now third and four. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment, because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner. 